Hello everyone and welcome back to another video today where today we are back on the allotment as you can see today we've finally got some muck I've just got a wheelbarrow full there got lots more in a big heap as well as you can see the hybrid willows after school I'm doing a little bit every night just putting this netting up and I'm putting bricks along the edge to hold the netting down. So then what I can do um, this time next year is just take the bricks up and just take the whole lot out without having to dig it in or anything. So it is starting to look all right. I've just threaded some string through the top, as you can see here, just to keep it nice and taut. As you can see, that is very taut. Um, Basically, the netting, it isn't cut, so you can all have it at a straight edge. Um, so that's why this is a good example here. Obviously, this bit's ruttled up a bit, but as you can see, it isn't cut. It's a straight line. It's just all wonky, but, you know, it's all, it's all right. It's, it's doing the job well. We haven't had any rabbit attacks yet. Um, with not having the netting all the way around. Um, this is a problem, like the wind keeps blowing under it and blowing the sticks under the mat. There's another one over here as well. But I think once we've got the netting around the outside and all the bricks around the outside, you know, it'll, it'll be a lot better. So, as you can see, this is all like partially rotted leaves and grass clippings just on this bit and today I'm good to, I've just finally decided I'll take the peas out I've had a decent out of them they, you know they will they will grow back as you can see the the frost has got some of them but you know they, they will grow back but it's just the, like these weeds here so take them out um, put some cardboard down and then this muck here is really well rotted as you can see extremely well rotted manure horse manure so you know it's possibly the best stuff you can get you know it's really well rotted ready to put it straight onto onto the ground um, so yeah I think what I'm going to do first is take this out you know it's all falling in anyway um, take this out and then um, I've got some paper don't know if you can see over there got some paper to just put down a little bit it won't cover the whole thing but you know just should should keep the weeds down a bit So now I've took the weeds out, but as you can see, there's still quite a, a few around here and that. Um, but what I'm going to do is I've just put this like Amazon paper wrapping over it. Just took the, some of the weeds out roughly, but this should help suppress it. I'm going to get some more cardboard probably and do the rest. As you can see, these broad beans, yeah, the, the, most of the plants are healthy, as you can see. Oh, look at that plant, it's, really, it's a really healthy plant. But, you know, these raw beans, I might do the same, I might just take them out. Um, and apparently, if you plant cabbages where raw beans were, 
and leads the stalks in. See like the nitrogen in the roots and that apparently. Um, it will help cabbages. So might do do some more cabbages here. So yeah, that should be good. I'll take these out, do some smaller beans, so some Sutton Dwarf or something like that. Um, because they, they should be be smaller and more bushy. Because the Sutton Dwarf ones have grown before have never have to have been staked. Whereas these ones, you know, just more work, especially you know this time of year. As you can see, like this plant's really healthy. Some of them, but you know, they get they get battered a bit. So I think I'm going to um, take those out as well. But for now, let's put some of this muck onto onto the soil. So that's one barrel load on, many more to go still, so yeah, I guess I'll see you guys when i got some more muck on the ground. So that is what I have done so far. I've still got a little bit more left to do, which will probably just, you know, fill that area up there like that. And that's pretty much it, other than that. It's really light and fluffy, so it's already broken down and we can plant straight into it as soon as the soil warms up, so we won't have to wait for many frosts to break it down much more and I think you know after a few more frosts this will be really really decomposed with the brown paper underneath it as well should help suppress some of these weeds and kill them off which will also help and will help with our semi no dig style with what we're doing it should really help to feed the plants and everything and should con we will continue to do this stuff throughout the years and you know sort of make the soil better for everything to grow might pick up funny on on this camera you know with everything being the same color pretty much um as it's quite an old phone about four years old now so it's not really picking it up the best but I, you can see what i'm doing anyway so yeah i hope you all did enjoy and yeah i just did this little video to show you what i'm up to so leave a comment say you know see what you think and everything about it and if you've got any recommendations or anything I'm, I'm always open to have a little chat in the comments and everything so yeah i like the video really means a lot to show the support to, towards the channel we're all also now over 300 subscribers so thank you everyone for that and um yeah i guess i'll see you guys on the next one bye bye everybody